Blue Jet NH3 and liquid side dress fertilizer applicators. When it comes to nutrient injection, leave the others at home. Bring the experience of Blue Jet to the field with you. In Machinery Minute, we revisit a story we first told you about a week ago. Deere and Company just marked a significant event in the history of the storied company, the half millionth John Deere Combine, just rolled off the assembly line at the Harvester Works in East Moline, Illinois. Farm Journal Machinery Editor Margie Fisher was there for this milestone. With just a few finishing touches, workers at the John Deere Harvester Works in East Moline, Illinois, roll the half millionth self-propelled combine off the line. You know, we've been building at the Harvester Works product for almost a hundred years and self-propelled combines for over 60 years. You don't get an opportunity to do that without the dedication of a whole bunch of employees focused on delivering value to the customer. As the lucky customer of the Milestone machine, Greg Briggs of Cisco, Illinois, received a special gold key VIP tour of the factory. Greg says his family has been running green for a long time. My dad bought a uh, 55 uh, John Deere and traded and got it, got rid of a Minneapolis. And uh, his dad was about to kill him for doing that. But um, after a couple of days, dad decided it's pretty nice not to have to work on another day. So we've been buying green ones ever since, I guess. Briggs got the opportunity to start a machine right on the factory line. He bought the 500,000th combine from Tom Sloan a third generation deer dealer. It's like, all oh, it's a people business. All businesses are people businesses. And so, and the one good thing about John, the John Deere organization is the fact is we have a great deal organization, which makes it easier for us to, to keep good customers and have, have, and John Deere provides us with good, good equipment. As far as harvester works, Deere says demand is keeping crews busy. You know, a lot of the machines hit the field in that September time frame. And so we do build a lot of our combines, the majority of our combines in this April to September time frame. And so to be able to do that, we're really actually looking at a two shift operation and having our employees working um, in many cases around the clock to make sure that we have product out the door and to make sure we can meet that market and customer expectation. It's, I understand it's going to the uh, John Deere Classic, the golf uh, outing. And then I think it's going to Iowa to the farm show and um, I'm just hoping it gets back in time for me to harvest, I guess. So. John Deere hosts almost 1,000 gold key tours for their combine customers. So whether it's the 500,000th combine or one that's headed to your farm gate, they'll provide a unique customer experience. Reporting for Ag Day, I'm Farm Journal's Margie Fisher. Meanwhile, the company announced Tuesday that it plans to build a new museum in Iowa. Construction on the John Deere Waterloo Tractor and Engine History Museum will begin later this year in Waterloo, Iowa. They plan to open the new attraction in 2011. Deere says the museum will include artifacts and interactive exhibits to celebrate the history and growth of the tractor business at John Deere.